William, Abita Springs. You're on Winning It Life with Gregory Ricks. What can we do for you, William? Uh, yes, sir. I have a question that uh, has to do with student loan debt, popular topic these days. Uh, I'm a father of three daughters, and my oldest two daughters just got through school. They both went through seven-year programs, and we did incur some student debt. Um, but being a good father, I did not want my daughters to start life off in debt, so I'm, I'm paying their loans off, which I already have. But I did so by selling some family property, basically my inheritance, and uh, doing that for them. Uh, you know, significant amount of money. I'm talking, you know, about a hundred thousand for each child. So it was a big deal for me. And um, but now I hear all the politicians talking about <laughs> forgiving student loan debt, and I'm just going to feel like an idiot if I did all this. And a year from a year or two from now, you know, I could have got it forgiven. So I don't know. I just want your, your thoughts on that. That's wishful thinking that we as a country can absorb that mountain of debt and i i feel your pain there because heck if i knew we and this isn't happening and i don't think it's going to happen that way but then yeah from my standpoint as heck i've got triplets at lsu and that's costing money and they're in their third year at lsu and yeah that's money i'm saying well heck if that's gonna be the case we just should have been borrowing out the wazoo since it's going to be forgiven. I don't think it's going to be forgiven. You've got the veterans uh, in certain situations. Some of theirs is forgiven. Uh, Bernie wants, and uh, some of these others, the remaining members of the D20, the Democrat 20, the originals that got together to run, uh, have some plans for that. But we as a country cannot afford to do that. And then the unfair not that anything's ever fair but you know somebody like you and i and james and fred and annette and jessica uh, you know all of us i'm just naming names but the point is those of us with money aren't going to get it forgiven so and i don't know that determining factor there but and there are forgiveness rules in loans as it is and those are tough hoops to jump through we've had callers over the past few years call in and talk about what they're going through and 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 it's super difficult to get it waived and that's where i'm at and as a country that's an we can right we have so well, guess, much unfunded liabilities now that we're we've got to absorb in the future that's going to eventually drive the debt to a hundred trillion in the next 30 years so that's where we're at so let's let's just add another hundred trillion in student loans go ahead William yeah I guess I, I agree with everything you said uh, but something's got to happen something's got to happen and the politicians are making all these promises and some of them are serious about it. And I do think they'll try to do something like that. But I guess my real question is how angry should I be after what I've done? Um, and the fact that when I call to get my student loans refinanced or whatever, you know, they're going to offer me a 7% rate when other people can get a 2% rate or forgiven altogether. And it's just, it goes to redistribution of wealth and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just, I, I, I feel angry and I don't, no, I, I know there's nothing I can do about it, but... <laughs> no, William. Do. William, you should never feel angry for doing the right thing. And, and that's to think about it there. There's nothing you can do about that. And, I, and sometimes my wife, Stacy, she'll get fired up about things. And and, and, and she, she'll she get to the fairness and, and, well, that wasn't right. And I said, you know, there's nothing you can do about it there we're fortunate to be able to have the means to do that and we we're paying for the kids as they they go in college we've not borrowed anything we're fortunate to able to be able to pay and they even got a little bit of scholarship money this year and and they've worked some along the way as well and doing internships so all those things kind of come together and add but you should be super proud that you have the means to do so to give them that type of start versus 
well, kids, you know, going to have to borrow your way there. Might be able to help you. Maybe the government will wave it one day, get the right Democrat, socialist in there, and we'll have all free health care and everybody goes to college for free. Please don't let and, that happen. And, 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 and Democrats don't get mad at me, but they're the ones saying it. I've not heard a Republican say we're waiving tuition and free health care and all that. So there is two sides to that story. And I just don't think it's reasonable to for people to sit and wait and expect that i think there should be caps based on and where we're going with this william i think there should be caps i think there should be limits on how much can be borrowed this open-ended borrow whatever you need live the lifestyle i think it goes for doctors and dentists and everybody they should be able to borrow more but they're getting themselves in trouble too with how much they can borrow and i think it borrowing should be just for tuition and books i don't know that all it should be able to cover completely on housing either because then we move into lifestyle there and i think if you're going to liberal arts you're not getting much money i think it'd be subject to also how much you can earn in what you're doing so you have to make decisions and and also i don't you know was a, a kid that was making um working in the furniture industry he's 19 years old and he's making 80,000 a year